Hello everybody and welcome once again to all of Fabric 3. So as you may notice there are a few changes around here. The base has sort of mostly moved, actually not the things I don't use very often are still here. But the base is over there, so let's go and have a look at that, shall we? So I have set up a little bit of work here. I've got a windmill here, didn't I? It didn't have to be very high as I thought it had to be. And I've got some water mills here, and they're basically providing power to control all of this bit from here from the recycler down to the um, scrap box initiator and then we're getting stuff into here i've changed it a little bit so i can now for example take this sword out of here which is not in a bed which are things that don't ever use because we've got too many of them and i just put those into here i've got to be very careful because they'll get consumed fairly quickly as you can see so now the um this cobblestone generator is pushing stuff straight up into here and that's getting processed almost immediately so we're ending up with quite a reasonable amount of stuff in here, as you can see. But I'll take that with me. And here I've got all of the stuff for uh, applied energistics. Not, I haven't tidied it up yet. I've left a few holes. That's really so that you can see. Because the, the one thing I do want to do next is to put onto here uh, an import bus. So let's go and do that, shall we? Or shall we have a quick look at the rest of this? So these are all set up now. And I've got on here silicon, uh, engineering's diamond, logic's gold, and calculation surface quartz. So we can make those. So here I've got the um, uh, industrial grinder. I think it's got nothing in it at the moment. Uh, and it's got some input. I've set up the input. So, for example, if I want to put, let's have a look at the configuration of the sides here. The, the, the output slots are here, and they all go up. So you can click on each one of those and they'll go up. Actually, I've probably got to close it off. But it's really annoying because it goes all the way back here. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can do that. So this one's coming in from the side here. Um, that's an input. Uh, so you're basically taking fluid in here and you're putting it into here. I would like... The fluid actually does come in um, from the tank in front of it. So if you look at this one, uh, we should be able to see one of these, actually. Or maybe, it's, maybe it's this one. <laughs> Got another visitor, which I don't really want. Hold on a second. Just get rid of these guys. There are just so many of them. All the time, they're always here. This being a nuisance. Anyway, it's, formal, it's a reasonable amount to get to. Oh, we didn't get any leather this time. I wonder why not. Maybe it's gone somewhere else. Anyway, I'll have a quick sleep because it's night time and I'll be back in a second. So, right, here we've got the industrial um, blast furnace. Uh, the blast furnace I'm back at the moment, I've got quartz in it. All I'm doing with the quartz, as it happens, I'm putting in here some... I'm getting some silicon and some compressed air. Now, a problem with compressed air, I can put the silicon now into this... into here, into this chest. It'll be taken up here, even though it's got quartz in here. So it needs quartz dust and carbon will make silicon and compressed air. Uh, and this will make two silicon plates. Well, it takes a while because it's a fairly slow process. But what we can also do is improve that. Um, so here I've got the industrial electrolyzer and output from that's going at the top. So I've configured all of these machines so that you'll see notice it's got um, some charcoal in here. So if I put some empty tubes in there, I haven't got any empty tubes with me, but there should be in one of these chests, this one here. So I've got 16 empty tubes. So let's just take those out there. Put that one back in there and then we can put the empty tubes into here like this and that will start to make carbon so you'll get some carbon coming out of that in fact i'll get 16 one for each of these and then i can put the carbon into here and then that will then start to make silicon we need silicon you'll see the power is going down i want to sort that out today <laughs> um it's going down because i've got two machines running and i've not got enough solar panels so in here, for instance, I've got all of the dust type ores that we ca we're getting through. Here I've got all the raw ores, so I'm sort that again. And here I've got the ingots coming in. Uh, so I've got a reasonable amount of ingots. I've got some advanced alloy ingots. I've got some aluminium ingots and uh, brass, bronze, copper. Oops, what happened there? <laughs> I think my keyboard's a bit sensitive. Electrum, gold, invar, iridium, uh, iron ingots, etc, etc. Don't you see that? Here I've got the stuff for uh, Technoborn, and I want to do a little bit of Technoborn stuff today. Um, you'll notice here, silicon and electron plates make advanced circuits. Uh, electronic circuits and peridot, or um, 
emerald plates will make data storage cores and i want to make a generator today as well so we've got some generators and what in fact i'm going to make two generators so the first generator we're going to make is have a look over here there's two things i want to do um actually there's more than two things i want to do first of all i would like to make an import bus so we've got an import bus here from that it's exactly the same as the export bus except for the irons at the top and you're using an annihilation core instead of a format core um formation core and a piston and a sticky piston and that will produce an export bus so we can go and put this import bus down on here let's do that this will actually run out of power in fact, it's already run out of power as it happens because of our power is inadequate at the moment. So what we can do though is we can put this import bus down onto this. So let's do that as a first thing. Right click on top. It should go on top like that. You'll see it's got it's not lit up because of power shortage. Um my fault, I shouldn't have done that straight away. I should really just leave these two separate. Because this one is actually now starting to increase in power. And we will have got two silicon plates out of it and two empty or four empty cells. Um, so in here now we should actually that's finished as well. So that's oh sorry that's grass wrong one. That's the this one here. It should yes that's still processing these and it's it's got power in. So this might be online now. Let's have a look. Yes, it looks like it's online. You can see. Uh, is lit up there and this should in fact so no it's not working i don't think it's got enough power yeah the the, <laughs> the leds are off i've actually put a, a switch down here to turn it all off if i want to so for example to do that and can hopefully we can see in fact we can't see let's go down here and have a look down here the should well i suppose the easiest way to do it is just to break this block here and here we have a toggle bus. That I'm putting a, a block of dirt on top of the toggle bus like that. Let's just do that again. In fact, it was grass, but this one is like that. I've, what have I got? I've got bag mode. Let's just change that to in construction mode and put a block down that. That will form. And then on top of this, we'll just put a, a lever. Let's get out of this. Actually, it's probably easier to do a lever when I'm above it. So we'll just have it put the lever down from this direction so that's off so when i want to turn this on i just simply click this here i've also done the same here as well so underneath here we've got a, a toggle bus and because you can see there's no power at the moment it should have power actually thinking about it so there should be adequate power but it's not enough i think that's the right way around i turn it on Oh yes <laughs> whoops <clears throat> okay so now it's on and now we've got power into here and then this should in fact be importing stuff so we should see a little yes yeah, so that's now sort of not dark anymore so all the stuff in here is gone and it's been imported into here like this so as you can see we've now got spruce blocks and all sorts of bits and pieces in here i'm going to leave that um for the time being see what we get in there so it'll fill up over time so that's that process is now fully automated i could take from the, the i could put the import bus straight onto the scrap box initiator but i'm not going to do that because i am going to run out of power from time to time because i really haven't got enough and the same is true for this one here i'm going to just basically put a block of dirt down on top of that one like this um that one and then put the lever on top of that we'll do it in the same direction so it has to be on for it to work so at the moment it's off turn it off turn it on and then it's on so there's you can see so if i run out of power if i want to save some power i can just turn this off that's basically it and then i can fill all of this area in with some more dirt which is probably a good idea too anyway uh, and eventually i can put some covers on these so they don't you don't see underneath what's going on there right now next thing let's have a look at I want to upgrade the blast furnace and what you need to do to upgrade the blast furnace is you need some industrial um what they called i've forgotten the name this one industrial machine casings now these are very ex time consuming to make and difficult but let's have a look at this first of all let's put this down here and have a look so at the moment if you've got 1860 heat if i break and replace one of these blocks here like that 
put in an industrial block and then have a look at it again you'll see this time we've got 1915 so you can replace these over time you don't have to do them all in one go which is great so let's have a look at how we make these things so what we need ultimately is let's have a look let's have a look at the recipe of this probably the easiest way we'll go backwards the recipe of this one is we've got this will make four from an industrial machine frame as opposed to an advanced machine uh, casing so an industrial machine frame will give us four as opposed to one and it's the same items in here so we need chrome plates chrome plates the recipe for that oh, actually we'll have a look at the data storage one it's very easy that's straightforward one it's not difficult to do two recipes uh, peridot plates uh, lapis lazuli glowstone redstone and a electronic circuit will make one of those or the better way i think is is to use this so you can use one emerald plate or two peridot plates i don't have much use for peridot so that's a pretty useful thing to do and it'll make one of those we've done that already let's go back after that one um and chromium plates, the recipe for that is basically you need chromium, of obvious chrome ingots. And the chrome ingots we're getting from two ways at the moment. We're getting from dust. So we need dust, and we can get dust from um, small dust. I think it's probably small dust is the one we actually get. So in a blast furnace, we'll get an ingot. So the recipe for this from here is we can make it with small for small dust we can get it from scrap boxes we can get it from the industrial electrolyzer or grinding it so let's have a look at the industrial electrolyzer so we can make this with ruby dust and that's a good thing for ruby dust where empty cells will produce two aluminium one chromium and three compressed air um the other one is this <laughs> un varit or uvarit dust i don't know how to pronounce that properly and that will, with 20 of those will make three calcium, two chromium, uh, silicon and compressed air. The recipe for this stuff is basically from the industrial centrifuge with yellow garnet dust. <laughs> it goes on. So yellow garnet dust you get from basically grinding sulfurite ore in the um, industrial grinder. Or we can get it from scrap box in this year. So, well, the scrap box is it's rare. So it takes a long time. But we do get it eventually enough to make one of those things okay going back to this one i want to make so to make that we have to do this then we get four of those out of that so i'll actually get eight to make the advanced frame here industrial frame we need chromium plates and titanium plates now titanium is also difficult the recipe for titanium is ingots of course which you can press fine um recipe for that is blast furnace so you can blast first furnace titanium dust titanium dust the recipe for that is basically four small piles of dust the rest of these are grinding it okay and the recipe for small piles of dust is the industrial electrolyzer with bauxite dust so you need a lot of bauxite dust to make small piles of titanium and that's basically it the only way you can get it compressed air and hydrogen hydrogen is good because that will allow us to make methane and you can actually burn that directly and we get a lot of aluminium out of here as well so we get a lot of that stuff out of here so titanium is, is a tough one um and then the advanced machine frame oops let's have a look at the recipe for that one it's basically carbon plates and alloy advanced alloy plates will make one of those so that's this recipe like that and then to make the carbon plates we need to compress carbon mesh so carbon mesh is made by carbon filter filters so let's just make these up because i've got 22 of those and then we've got i've put 64 in here so i'll make 32 of those or actually 64 so we can then put those together in here like that and make uh, another set of those that would give us that but we've got enough for the time being um it's night time i'll be back in a second so in order to make mixed um advanced alloy we need these mixed metal ingots and the recipe for the um or the uses of these you're basically smelting you're getting an advanced alloy but the recipe for these there's a lot of recipes for this there's uh, six pages of recipes now some of these are cheap like this one here is basic refined iron ingots okay it's the important ones the one at the top invar bronze aluminium or uh, will produce five and that's the recipe I've chosen for because the rest of these is like titanium. Uh, nickel will produce four, 
Nickel's just iron. Well, basically, invar's just iron and nickel. So it's one one piece of iron and two nickel will make three invar. So that's a good way to go. Aluminium, we've got tons of aluminium. Um, it's coming out of our ears because every process is, or in the uh, in the industrial ground is producing more aluminium. It seems like the next one up here is titanium. That's for six. Uh, tungsten's for six. Tungsten's really hard. Another one of these. Tungsten steel is even harder. And then you're getting nine. So I think the best way to do this at the moment, is you see all of these are th three. So anything to do with nickel, in while this isn't as good because it's using tin ingots instead of aluminium. And that's it. And they all go around like this. And you'll see that the tungsten just produce five is a waste. So we won't do that. You can see brass or bronze will produce eight. So they have a lot of recipes, as you can see. Again, you can see this is tit titanium. This is nickel. Never produces more. So this looks like the best recipe for this. Let's just get these made. Yeah, nearly one and a half stacks. And then we just smelt those. So let's just put those straight into the furnace. They have no other uses. Let's look at the uses of these. Uh, that's it. You can just smelt them. Look nothing else so let's put straight this into the furnace you'll see i've labeled all the machines here and i put the input for the input goes in the front and the output comes at the top like this so now we're getting advanced so i've already got some nickel gold and copper uh actually let's just take all that out of there put that into this into the right one because we need a reasonable amount of copper as it happens like that and in the compressor we'll put in these carbon meshes like that and they'll get taken out and they'll come out at the top here when it's been processed again this is using a reasonable it's not using too much power this i th the grind i have got speed upgrades in and the furnace i've also got speed upgrades in three of them happens that makes it reasonably fast you can see how fast that's going through there um but it also increases the power usage so next thing let's go and have a look at this I want to make this a semi-fluid generator. And the use of a semi-fluid generator, let's have a look at it, is you can make power from it. So you can use oil. Oil will produce a total of 16,000 energy. This one here is sodium, will produce 30,000 energy. This one here is lithium, which will produce 60,000 energy. And this is biofuel. And one bucket of biofuel is worth 6,000 energy. So that's the worst. But having said that, <laughs> it's probably the best one to do because it's the one you can automate the easiest. So let's have a look at Tech Reward Biofuel because it didn't show when I cl clicked it there. Let's spell it right. So the recipe for this is you basically put in the solid canning machine some compressed plant balls. Compressed plant balls? is made basically from the compressor and all of these different items in here so you can put uh, leaves any type of leaves any type of sapling melons uh, sugarcane cactus uh, wheat three pages this carrots potatoes apple most of the fruit you see 64 melons will produce one plant food kelp maybe the way to kelp farm kelp i don't know and Sweet berries, which produce eight of those produce compressed, or a plant a plant ball. Now the plant ball, the recipe for that, it doesn't show me as it happens, is from uh, it's a different mod anyway. It's plant ball. Let's have a look at plant ball. I'm not I'm not typing for me what's going on here. <laughs> Press escape. Let's have a look for plant ball. This one. It's not showing me a recipe. Um, not sure why. Anyway, so we're going to make this semi-fluid gen um, generator like this. Let's see if it works now. No, it doesn't. And so we're going to put into this uh, biofuel. So what I've done set up here is a load of carrots, as you can see. Is a, this is a farm, a greenhouse controller. I haven't put any lights on top of it yet. Uh, and we'll have a look at that. And it's highlight it so you could highlight this turn it on and it shows you the blocks here so it's put a cactus for every type of um plant you can put down there it just shows you plants but it also shows you here light positions 
I've done this before, I think. No, so we don't need to see that. Um, it just says it can be upgraded with power lamps, as we see. So this is completely full. It's been running for long enough now. And then that's feeding these carrots out. So if, let's have a look at uh, into a compressor. So the compressor is then making compressed plant balls. The compressed plant balls are then going into this solid canning machine and it's producing biofuel. Very good. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to put down a tank. I have a tank prepared here and it's already got some biofuel in because I was studying this for a while. And it's smart, this, because what you can do is you can put it down. Um, I'm not sure which way we're going to do it. I think let's put it in the same direction as, as, the, as the farm here like this. I could put it here, I could put it here, it doesn't make any difference. I thought it would be neater if I put it here. Let's put it down like that. And then we configure the sides. And you'll see it's actually already configured, as you can see. So what it needs is it takes items in. So it takes items in from the right hand side. So it's facing, let's go back to the side and do it properly. That's probably easiest to see. So it's taking items in from the right hand side and then it's pushing them out also to the right hand side so it's taking some fluid in and it's also pushing it out so as you can see in here now we've got these empty cells are coming in and going out straight away I may only need one um, so let's just take this down to one cell because it's going to go in and out all the time and it's going to start processing this uh, almost immediately if I put two in it'll run faster because it'll always be one running through here this is filling this up with fuel so now all we need to do is put down the semi-fluid generator like this um, and we'll put this down in the same direction as I put all the other machines which is this way like that and you'll see this has automatically got uh, fuel in it and it's producing power so it's producing each bucket of this will produce one thousand uh, power and that's actually going fairly fast now it's slowing down a bit because it's got less in it but it's producing power so this is actually charging up as you can see it's got 2.8 k so i don't know if this is got the if this is enough or not but if we need another one we could put another one down beside it for example if i moved it around this tank moved it back put another one here straight away couldn't i so that's that one the other generator i'd like to look at today is the diesel generator i haven't made these up either so i could actually make these up let's take these out of here i've got 11 now we need to get up to 3000 degrees uh i can make some industrial machine frames as well and i can make these up advanced machine frames i'll make them up because why not they're there to be made up i've got everything prepared so let's just do it so let's just put these away as it happens i can put these away up here like this industrial machine casings oh i want them as industrial machine casings i'm going to put those down somewhere aren't i let's put those into the basic machine frames and a basic tank now one of the problems i've got thing that i can't uh, maybe there's a way to automate this i'm not 100 percent sure is i'm getting out a lot of compressed compressed air tubes as you can see like this and there's not many uses for these let's have a look at the uses for this one um you can use it to actually make tanks it says it an empty cell but you can actually use a cell with compressed air and i tested that it works fine and the other one is this one here so for example with nitrogen you can make nitrogen dioxide cells the use of the nitrogen dioxide cells are none if i press the u on it this one here is sodium pulphosate that's a good one so but we don't need that much you'll see here one compressor there plus one sodium sulfate will make one sol sodium pulphosate cell <laughs> well and this one here the recipe for that is actually fairly straightforward sulfur cells plus sodium cells will make uh, a sodium sulfide cell and the sol this one's fairly straightforward as well the recipe for that is the one i've been using is sulfuric acid no solid canning machine this one here sulfur dust plus an empty cell will produce a sodium a sulfur cell hard work and then the next one that's actually a bit in 
interested to go back here was the sodium so the recipe for that there's different types i was using clay as it happens clay seems to be reasonable in the industrial electrolyzer will produce two silicon and two sodium cells so we're getting a reasonable amount of that or fairly easily this machine's the biggest problem i've got it's slow uh, and it takes a lot of power but i have speeded up um i think there's one speed upgrade in here anyway and you'll notice that i've got all this compressed there. it's night time i'll be back in a second so what i want to do is get rid of these uh, compressed air cells so i did i pick up that's empty that's compressed air put that into here i can put these into here then they get an empty cell out of that okay hasn't got rid of this because this is still sitting in this tank as you can see let's get some more out of here i want that let's get at least well let's take four actually i can only do three at a time so it is a basic tank it doesn't take that much let's fill it up so i've got 60 more empty cells and i've got some another one here now it's full it's got 35 in here 35 if i now break this with a wrench and have a look at it we should also see this has got 35 uh millibuckets or 35 buckets of compressed air which is great now i need to get rid of that so let's get rid of it it's very easy <laughs> all i do is break it <laughs> oh. and now if i look at this i've got capacity of 35 buckets but nothing in it so let's put it down again it's a bit manual this so maybe i could do it a different way automate it and then get rid of some of these compressed air cells compressed air compressed air empty empty and as you can see let's just break this again i don't need it i shall leave it there never know so it's not a bad place to put it so now we've got all these empty cells which is what i really wanted to get in the first because they're, they're not that cheap there's um, four pieces of tin four ringgits of tin and one glass will make that but what i can then do is i can come along here and put these into here like this i can also set this up so that it can feed this side i think let's have a look at this um configure the sides let's have a look so that's coming from the front so i can now do, i've got i can now put the ones in the empty cells in there with 31 that's 16 plus one that'll give me th actually i'll do it into so that's now going to process all of these and that'll produce carbon uh, take one out actually let's just put one out of there like that and then that'll be that, that so it'll use up all of these completely in fact i could actually push the carbon out of here instead of pushing it up here carbon cells which you've got i could put it into here so in here for instance we can then push this into it but first of all i'm going to upgrade this with these um uh industrial machine casings so let's get started with that one i'll do that off camera and i'll be back in a second right well i've put the 12 um industrial machine frames where i've in the middles basically so we can actually not have to open the, the thing to get the lava in but i forgot to put the lava in it so let's have a look at this now so we've got 2020 heat but because i forgot to put the lava in let's go and put the lava in like that so what i did is i basically put the all of the 12 around here that should make sense i think so we can just put down two buckets of lava i went and got some more lava because i managed to ruin one of them just put that down like that like that and then fill it up again um let's put the industrial yeah i want the industrial one goes in here and then the basic one just goes in front of it standard machine phrasing like that and now we have a look at this we should get two thousand and two and a half thousand now with two and a half thousand i think we can then do tungsten let's have a quick look at this So we can basically make a tungsten ingot, which requires from the blast furnace, from dust, and we need 2,500 heat. So we just about reach it. There is one more above that, which is 3,000. So, but for the time being, we can actually make up some tungsten now. In fact, as it happens, I've already got some tungsten. We've actually got 18, and most of those, are, well, they've all come from um, uh, the, the roof the recycler anyway so the recycler is really good i've got a tungsten steel ingot and some hot tungsten ingots as well the uses of the hot tungsten ingot i can make nuggets and the uses of nuggets you can make hot okay and this one here you can then put in the vacuum freezer which will produce a tungsten steel ingot and the uses of that is well we can obviously make 
a lot more mixed uh, mixed metal ingots we can compress it to plates now this is the actual interesting one the use of that is then we can make the top tier machines that we've got like plasma generators fluid replicators quantum ligands and etc so the, that's an important that we don't need too much of it as it happens but that's fairly important um the last thing i'd like to do today is actually have a look at this one i've got another omni tool and i've got silk touch on this one it's actually probably better and i got just luck i went and enchanted it i wanted a silk touch one and and i just hoped that i'd get a silk touch on it and i did so there we are as you can see over here i've got all my stuff that's in these chests um and i want to carry on with applied energistics next time we would need to do some auto crafting uh i'm not sure exactly what i want to auto craft at the moment but we'll see and i think this is turned on so I thought we'd have power for that. We should have enough power in here because I'm not doing much with the power at the moment. Oh, that's empty, look. <laughs> that's off, that's good. So anyway, I've made some armor and I've enchanted it already. So what I made is this netherite armor here like this, just to put it, just to show you I've made it. And the process of making this is just standard stuff and I'm not going to cover it, so like that. But if I look at my armor at the moment, I've basically got some steel leggings and some uh, almost broken, and so the, the chest plate's okay because I use using the jetpack. And the jetpack's now fully charged, the Invo jetpack. So I'm probably time to upgrade this one. If we look at the use of that one, we can then make the diamond jetpack. Actually, I've got more than enough diamonds to do to do that in here. If I look at the, I want to do the bag. Don't I want to press it in bag mode, and then you'll see in here I've already got nine emerald ores 18 diamond or that was going to give me 36 diamonds anyway so that's more than enough to make uh upgrade this jetpack and that for looking here in the gems we've got plenty of it as it happens just i've been using silk touch to do the mining uh, as you already remember oh, I can't, I can't jump up there let's just have a look at gems but you see i've already got four stacks mm, nearly four stacks and with this i will have almost or stacks with that stuff in there and we just put mercury through it and that's it we've got everything we need uh emeralds are not doing too badly on either so that we could probably even make the emerald jetpack i think that's the highest tier not 100 percent sure anyway that's it for this episode the base upgrade um i hope you've enjoyed it and i'm looking forward to seeing how the generators get on and do the stuff i didn't make the diesel generator did i no we'll do that next time anyway until then i wish you all the best bye for now <laughs>